dear students today i am going to explain the important instruments and experiments that were performed in optics and laser laboratory so first of all introduce myself myself dr tejinder singh actually pg department of physics so this lab is very important in physics optics and laser here we have a very good instruments and we perform a very good and fascinating and interesting experiments now let us start with uh, first equipment which is very important equipment spectrometer now what is this spectrometer actually this spectrometer is used to study the spectrum spectrum of the light which we have obtained through the different instruments like that of the prism or the diffraction plate now first of all i introduce this spectrometer this spectrometer has mainly three important parts this first part is called collimator this is the part this is called collimator this is the prism table you can see the prism is placed on this prism table the height of this table is adjustable by this screw this is the telescope through which you have to study the spectrum now this is the source of light you can see here we are using sodium lamp now what is the speciality about this sodium lamp sodium lamp is a monochromatic source of light monochromatic means single wavelength so here we have placed this prism on this prism table in this experiment the aim of this experiment is to determine the refractive index of this prism basically we have to determine the refractive index of the material of this prism this prism is uh, uh, made by glass so we have to find out the refractive index of this prism now prism first of all uh, we set this spectrometer we adjust the slit of the spectrometer by using this screw the slit should be narrow you can see here this is also the slit this is the slit of this source this is also very narrow and you can set the slit of this spectrometer which is also very narrow so this is a first requirement that you must have narrow slit then you place the prism here okay so on the prism table you can prism uh, you can place this prism like this and when you place this prism the light which is obtained from this collimator is incident on this prism now when this light incident on this prism it is reflected back so this reflected light that is the image of this slit can be seen through this telescope you can rotate this telescope in this direction first you have to rotate the slit here in this direction then you can move this telescope in this direction then locate the same thing that is the slit here so in that way you have to determine the angle of prism then you change the position of the prism like that so that you have to obtain the minimum deviation through this prism so again you can move this telescope and then rotate the slit you can also rotate this prism table by finding out the minimum deviation position of the slit so in that way you determine the angle of prism and angle of minimum deviation after that by putting the two values in the suitable formula you can obtain the refractive index of the given material of this glass prism so this spectrometer is very good instrument and we accurately measure and determine the refractive index of this prism again we are using another experiment okay so this is the experiment this is also very good experiment here instead of prism we place here the diffraction grating this is the diffraction grating i am just removing this diffraction grating so that you can see 
this is the diffraction grating okay this is diffraction grating it is uh, made up by 15000 very sharp lines that is draw on this uh, grating material so we have a number of slits on this diffraction grating you can place here in this stand this is called the diffraction grating stand you can place the grating like that in this stand you can adjust this grating and then locate the slits through this telescope of the spectrometer okay but here you can use the source instead of sodium lamp we are using here the mercury source and you can see the difference of the light here you have a white light basically this is not a monochromatic source we know that white light is a combination of seven colors and you can determine easily the wavelength of different colors like green yellow indigo blue red so this is another very good experiment based upon this spectrometer again so the, these are the experiments which are related to spectrometer in this laboratory we have a very good source of light that is the helium neon laser light just see it this is the helium neon laser okay so this is the laser now what is the speciality about this laser laser is a monochromatic source of light or you can say uh, simply said coherent source of light what is the meaning of coherent coherent means the photons two photons they must be in constant phase difference and having the same wavelength okay so this laser light source is used here in order to determine the uh, different diffraction pattern or you can determine the wavelength of this laser so you can see here here it is uh, this beam is incident on this diffraction grating and you can see that you have to obtain this uh, diffraction pattern or the spots you can see on this screen okay so in that way you draw here the line and locate these points after measure the distance between this source and the diffraction grating and then by drawing the here you can see here by drawing line you can find out the distances and then determine the angle and now put these values in the Bragg's formula and uh, when you are putting these values you easily de determine the wavelength of laser light here helium neon laser as a wavelength of 632.8 nanometer so this value can be determined by using this set now on the basis of this laser we have a, again a very good experiment this is a Michelson interferometer Michelson interferometer it is based upon the principle of interference and you can see at the front screen okay by suitably adjusted here from this knob you can see that the beautiful rings are seen on this screen and they are moving by count counting these uh, rings okay which are crossing through the field of view and by putting another values you can determine the wavelength and also determine the small differences between the two wavelengths okay so this is another very good experiment which is based upon the principle of interference and you are using again the helium neon laser source so this is an important experiment another just a look on uh, this experiment that is a newton ring experiment okay so this is the experiment just see it uh, this is a newton ring experiment it is also based upon the principle of interference here we are not using the you can also perform the uh, this experiment by using another monochromatic source of light but here we are using sodium lamp as a source this is the sodium lamp this here you have to place the sodium lamp and you can see the yellow light here this is the yellow light which you have obtained and this is the convex lens this is the convex lens okay so this uh, light is incident on this convex lens 
and this convex lens through this uh, convex lens you obtain the parallel beam of rays so this is the transparent glass sheet and you can adjust this sheet at the 45 degree angle this here it is the plano convex lens actually here this is the this is the plano convex lens through which uh, you have to obtain the interference pattern and this is a microscope and uh, this is the traveling microscope so by adjusting the traveling microscope in up and down direction you are easily seeing the focused image of very sharp neutral rings so by using this experiment or the equipment by using this equipment you can determine the wavelength of light okay so this is also very good experiment based upon the interference now uh, look at that this experiment this is very very good experiment that is based upon the laser or you can say the diode laser diffraction operators okay so this is also very good uh, setup diode laser diffraction operators so this is the diode laser this one this is the diode laser okay so through this you can obtain the beam and this is the slit okay and after that this is the another filter which we have used and you can obtain the very good diffraction pattern on this screen so this is very important experiment in this laboratory here we have a very good experiment that is photoconductivity experiment this is also very important and very good experiment photoconductivity based this is the photoconductive source these are the lamps and this is the different apparatus okay by using these operators or an analyzer these these are the for the analyzer you can suitably adjust the intensity of the lamp okay so this is also very good experiment here we have also very good uh, uh, this is a constant uh, deviation spectrometer you can see this is a constant deviation spectrometer it is very good experiment this is called drum you can see this is called the drum okay so by this drum you can calibrate this constant deviation spectrometer here you are place the prism look at that the shape of the prism okay so here uh, the prism is somewhat of the different nature okay so the speciality about this uh, prism is that this is the constant deviation prism you have to obtain the different uh, deviation deviations of the light through this prism that is why this uh, instrument is called constant deviation spectrometer so from this you can easily determine the thickness of this mica sheet by using this constant deviation spectrometer so this is also a very good experiment by using these uh, uh, operators we are easily determine the thickness of the mica sheet so, so these are the very good very important instruments and uh, experiments in this uh, optics and laser laboratory and i think uh, with uh, with the use of these uh, instruments and by performing the various experiments the students should have better clarity better clarity about the concepts concepts of the physics and better clarity of the theoretical concepts that is behind the optics and laser so thank you very much